Hey Russell fam, today is January the 17th and it's a Friday, so that means I am fixing to update you on week two of my intermittent fasting. I'll be back in just a second. notes because there's a lot of stuff I want to tell you um, this week I'm gonna update you on everything that happened to me this week I'm gonna share the apps that I use and some tools that I use um, to help me along my journey okay for this week I am down a total of three pounds last week I lost six this week I had a few hiccups and a cheat day so I am down three pounds this week nine pounds in total so two weeks I've lost nine pounds all right and so I went three days on a 20 hour fast. So I did three days worth of 20 hours of fasting and then I did four hours of eating. Um, and then the longest fast I did was a 21 hour fast. And I was just trying to see how long I could actually go for before I hit 24 hours and then I was gonna eat. But the, I lasted 21 hours. And I wasn't really hungry but I started getting a really bad headache and feeling kind of lightheaded, so I knew it was time for me to eat. Um, another thing I have learned this week is always listen to your body. Your body's gonna tell you what it needs. And I had some bloating issues this week. Here's a picture of what my finger looked like. Okay, so I had to take my wedding rings off. I have not put them back on yet. I'm still a little bloated and from the research that I have read, I have figured out that I had too much sodium in my body and not enough fiber. So when I say listen to your body, listen to your body. So I have fixed that. Um, let's see, I cheated on Saturday. I didn't really blow it, but Mike and I and the kids went to a local Mexican restaurant and I did have some chips and salsa and I had half a fajita quesadilla and some of an avocado. So I didn't cheat too bad, but I did have more carbs than normal. And I did learn that I do like avocados. I've tried them in the past, did not like them. And that's a good thing that I like avocados because they are perfect for the keto diet. They are high in fiber. Um, they, they are carbs, but they're fiber carbs. So they're not bad for you. And they're high in the natural fat that you need. So I have incorporated eating one avocado every day. Um, Let's see, when I say drink lots of water and listen to your body, that means if you go to the bathroom and your urine is yellow, more water. You've got to drink more water. And speaking of that, these are ketone strips that I use to tell me if my body is in ketosis and which stage of ketosis. So like after I cheated, it was very light pink. So that meant there was traces of ketones. You kind of want it right in here. You don't want it at the very bottom. You kind of want it somewhere in the middle to let you know that your body is burning ketones. Uh, I mean, burning fat. So this is what I use. You can find, find them next to the diabetic section um, if you want to try just to let you know if your body's in ketosis. So if that will also let you know if you're eating something that you shouldn't be eating that maybe has some hidden carbs, some hidden sugar, or something somewhere in there. So that's one of the tools I use. Some of the other tools I use are apps on my phone. And one of those apps is called the Zero app. Okay, in the Zero app, it helps you track your hours, and it actually has a timer. Now I am in my eating stage. So I stopped my, broke my fast four hours and seven minutes ago. Okay, and so when it hits my eight hour mark, I will hit start my 16 hour fast. 
And so that helps me keep up with the time so I don't have to remember it in my head. And it's great. It also, if you click on the history button at the bottom, it shows you that you have that I have done 12 fasts. My longest fast I have done is 21 hours. My average fast is 18 hours. And it also tells you what your current weight is. And then down here at the bottom, it tracks your days to show you which hours you have done. And you can also keep up with your weight in here. And there's mine. Shows you how I've lost my weight. And let's see. So that's why I use the Zero app. And the next app I use is called Lose It. On Lose It, it allows me to keep up with my fat, my carbs, and my protein. So there's what it looks like. It's a little blurry, but I'll insert a picture to show you exactly what this screen looks like. That screen helps you keep up with your fats, your saturated fats, your cholesterol, the sodium, your carbs, your fiber, your sugars, and your protein. All of that is broken down on that screen. And being on a keto diet, you want to try to keep it as a 70% fat, 20% protein, and 10% carbs. You wanna keep it in that range there's not a perfect day. It's not always going to be that, but you want to keep it as close as you can to that range. Okay, and the last app I use is called Ab Workout. And it sends me a notification every day of the days you work out to remind me to do my workout. And that's why I stay accountable and it really does work your core muscles. So I'm loving that app. So I think that is everything looking over my notes. Oh, and Fitbit. I use my Fitbit tracker to keep up with my water intake, to know how much water I'm taking in, and it keeps up with my weight as well, and actually my steps and exercise and heart rate and all that kind of stuff. So that's just kind of an extra one that I use. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this video, this update. I hope you enjoyed the apps. None of the apps are sponsored. These are just apps that I choose to use that help me. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up. Please remember to subscribe to continue watching my journey. I will list my beginning of my fasting video here. I will list my week one update here. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment below. And also, I will leave a link to my blog post, My Intermittent Fasting Journey, that I posted on our Russell's Loving Life blog. Hope you have a great day. Bye.